Hi, in this video I'm looking at this problem here where we've got the paths of these two particles described as vector equations moving in a horizontal plane and I want to determine if the paths of those two particles cross and if they do, where do they cross? So visually what's happening here is we've got some sort of horizontal plane which is because we've got i and j, it's the xy plane and we've got particle P doing whatever particle P is doing. And we've got particle Q doing whatever particle Q is doing. And we want to know, are there any crossing points? And where are they as X, Y coordinates? So that's our aim. Now to do this, we're evidently working in Cartesian form. But we don't have our equations in Cartesian form. So our first step is to express our equations um, in Cartesian form. So we want Cartesian equations instead of vector equations. So if we do that for equation P, then we've got 2Ti and negative of 4T squared take 38T take 20J. And so what this means is that we've got that x equals 2t and we've got that y equals the negative of 4t squared take 38t take 20. And so what we want to do is rearrange one of these to make t the subject of the equation and substitute it into the other. The easiest to do is, of course, the equation for x, because we can simply say that then x divided by 2 is t, because we can divide both sides by 2. And then if we substitute that into the y, then we're going to have y equals, and I'll bring the negative in as I do this, we're going to have positive 20, because negative times negative 20 is positive 20. Then I've got negative of negative 38, so I'm going to have plus 38 times t, but t is x on 2. And then I've got negative of 4t squared, so I'm going to have negative of x on 2. And so then tidying this up, I've got 20, half of 38 is 19, so I'm going to have plus 19x. Then 2 squared is 4. So the 4s are going to cancel each other out, so I'm going to have minus x squared. So that's the equation for the p particle. Now we just need to do the same for our other particle. So if we have a look at particle q, q, where's the equation? q's particle, we have that x equals 3t, and we have that y equals 105 minus 9t. So again, the simplest one to rearrange here is going to be our x equation. So we're going to have that t is going to be a third of x. And then substituting that into our y equation, we're going to have y is 105 minus 9 times a third of x, which simplifying that is going to give us 105. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So minus 3x. So now we've got our two equations in Cartesian form, and we now want to find where do they cross and if they cross. So our, what we're doing here is simultaneous equations. We want to see if these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, have a simultaneous solution and what that solution is, and that will tell us our crossing points. So I've got these two equations, and to solve my simultaneous solutions, I'm going to equate the two, because I've got a recipe for y. I know that y equals this quadratic. I also know that y equals this linear, and the y's are the same, so therefore the two equations must be the same. So that means that I have 20 plus 19x take x squared is the same as 105 minus 3x. So now I want to do is solve this equation and see what we end up with. So if I subtract the 105 and add negative 3x to both sides, so I'm going to subtract 105 
and add 3x to both sides of this equation so that that way I move everything to the left hand side. I'm going to have, well, 20 minus 105 is going to be negative 85. 19x plus 3x is going to be plus 22x. And negative x squared is not going to have anything that goes along with it. And that leaves us with nothing on the right hand side. I'm going to multiply everything through by negative 1 just to give us some more positives. So I'm going to have x squared take 22x plus 85 equals 0. Now we can solve this any way, either by using our graphics calculator or by factorizing or by using the quadratic formula. So we're just going to solve using any method and I'm just going to chuck this into a graphics calculator. My graphics calculator gave me the answers of x equals 5 or x equals 17. So we got two solutions, so that means that the paths do cross, we just need to know where. And we've got half the answers, they cross at x equals 5 and x equals 17, I just need to know their respective y's. Now I conveniently have a recipe for y if I know x. Actually I have two of them because I also have this one up here. This one is easy to work with, so all I've got to do is work out, well, well, when x equals 5, we're going to have y equals 105 minus 3 times 5, which, when we work this out, gives us y equals 90. And when x equals 17, y is going to be 105 minus 3 times 17. And so that's going to give us y equals 54. So we have two coordinates for where our paths cross, and that's our solution. So the paths cross at x equals 5, y equals 90, and x equals 17, y equals 54. And that's our solution. So there we go. If we have the paths of particles given as vector equations and we want to know if they cross and where they cross, we get the equations into Cartesian form and then treat them as a simultaneous equation. If we get a solution, they cross and the coordinates of that solution is the crossing point.